Story friends, uh, it's Nate here, and uh, I just wanted, I'm really excited to share with you something that uh, my books have gone out as part of my Kickstarter campaign. So those are now, should be in your hands if you ordered one. But I need to talk to you about something that came along with your book. So I hope you enjoy the story. Check it out, read it. Um, the audiobook is is currently underway. I'm going through the editing process. But anyways, you should be able to jump right into the book. But um, I wanted to talk about one of the little things that came for some of the people that got some, um, some of the more expensive or the fancier rewards. So wanted to talk to you quickly about what that is and also how to put it together. So some of you, as part of your package, got the fairy tale theater and it's pretty fun. I'm excited to share this with you. Um, kind of the, the guts of the design come from something that my wife designed, this theater. Um, and then I worked with her to create this other design that went along with Nellie Bug and Tooth Fairy and kind of her whole world. So anyways, go ahead and pull yours out and I will walk you through how to put it together. So you'll need some scissors and maybe some tape. And uh, yeah, go ahead and follow along with me. So first you'll need to open it up, pull it all out. And to explain this little thing that comes with it, uh, if you can see right here, uh, this little thing is going to be a light that you can add to it. So for some little fairy lights. So anyways, that's what that's for. All right, you can pull. There's gonna be a brown thing in here. You don't need that, you can get rid of that. Or you can use it for something else. If you have a very creative kid, I'm sure they can come up with something cool to go with that. Anyways, so you're gonna take, there's gonna be a few pieces. There's gonna be the front curtain. There's gonna be a rear curtain. Whoa! There's going to be backdrops. Uh, there's gonna be another backdrop that kind of deals more with the story. If you got the second story. And there's one so you can create your own. Come up with your own design, um, color it out, and then you can slide it into the theater and make your design or your artwork a part of the show. And then there's the stage floor, and then the characters, Nellie Bug, Lily, Inoke, and Roots, her friends. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So you'll need, like I mentioned, some scissors. And on each one, there's gonna be like a little cut template that'll show you where you need to cut. So I'm gonna follow along with those lines, but over on this design. If you're wondering why there's a cut line right here, but the artwork goes a little bit past that. That is called a bleed. Not like somebody's bleeding, but it's called a bleed. So if you accidentally mess up and you don't cut right on the line, the artwork still goes a little bit past it, so it'll still look great. And make sure if this is a child doing it, make sure you are cutting it and not throwing the papers all over for somebody else to pick up for you. Or an adult. Don't do that either. And don't wave scissors at people. Even cameras. Um, there's going to be like some fun artwork that I included around the design. If you want to save that, you can. Um, like this one. Cute little picture. Um, yeah, so you can just save those little scraps if you want. I'm sure my daughter will be saving those scraps because she loves to save scraps. I'm going to put this one aside for later, but this is one that if you are doing this on your own and you want to come up with your own design, cut it out, put it in, and take a picture and share it with me online, uh, especially like Instagram. That's something I check out a lot. So I would love to see your artwork and how you have envisioned the world of Nelly Bug. Okay, so we got the stage floor done. Next, we're going to do our main backdrop. So I'm just following along with my cut template. In this one, you'll see there's going to be some little cut lines that go into these shapes. So there's going to be a fold line. See, it says fold. It's cut line, cut line. And it's going to stop there, stop there. So when I'm cutting this, I'm going to go along the outline first. Right. 
Now is the part I want to be careful on that. So I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to stop at these little lines right here. You can also follow this template if you're not sure what that means. So my cut line is going to stop right there and right there. Okay, so now I'm going to cut. Being careful to stop. Boop, right there. Then cut down on this one. And then stop. Boop, right there. Right there, right there. Okay, then it'll be kind of the same over here. Cutting down to there, cutting down to there. All right, now I've got those pieces done. All right, now with this one, this is gonna be the front curtain. Um, so I've got this whole design right here. I've got some, if I follow this cut template, I can see there's some lines I'm gonna cut up to here and then stop. And then there's also this little thing, this piece over on the side, our curtain support piece. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and cut out the main outside. And then we want to make sure we cut this one following our template. So this one shows we stop right here and we're going to cut along this dotted line, stop right there at that line. Okay, so we're going to cut here, follow the line as close as we can, and stop there. And then we're going to follow this side. Stop right there. Boom, boom. Okay. All right, and then this big piece. You can tell the leaves are kind of the hardest thing to cut around, but it has a really cool effect when we get there. That was the rear curtain and if you see following the cut template there's going to be two more lines we need to make so we're going to cut those stop right there cut to stop right there that piece. Alright, and then I'm going to cut out this 
box background or the alternate background and I'll show you. On this one I'm kind of following along these gray lines. There are some fold lines that I don't want to cut. If you cut them on accident that's okay. You could still tape them together on the back of the paper. All right so that's for the book backdrop. Okay so these are fold lines. Now I want to show you a tool. I'm going to grab a tool real quick. So this is a metal like a mechanical type ruler. If you have a regular ruler, that's fine too. So the main thing is you're going to want to put the, the sharp edge, you're going to want to put it down on your paper, and then you're going to pull up on it. Get a nice crisp fold, or as close as you can get to one. Some other ones are going to have a fold too, like this one. This one's going to have a fold right here. So this is our regular backdrop. So I'm going to put this ruler right here. Fold it right on that spot right there. Okay. Alright. And then this little curtain support piece. This one has a couple too. So with all of those pieces cut out, we are ready to start putting it together. So for this step, you're going to need some tape. You can just use regular like masking tape, or if you have another kind of tape, I'm sure it would work great too. The wider it is or the bigger it is, the harder it's going to be to work with it. But if that's all you have, go ahead and try it. So I'm going to start out with the back, back of the stage. Okay. And so first thing we're going to need is we're going to need to hook these two pieces together. And I'm going to tape them on the back so they don't show. If you want to tape them on both sides or if both sides makes it a little more secure, that's fine too. I'm certainly not saying that this is the only way to do it. Even though when you cut it out, it's not going to be exactly the same shape and size as this on the back. That's okay. We're still, what we're going to do is we're going to tape this. We're going to try to get this as close to the middle as possible. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could get out your ruler, divide it by two, and then mark it and get it exact. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to get out there and tape it on. So for that, we're just going to tape. Tape it over on this side. Okay. And then I'm going to get another couple of pieces, smaller pieces of tape. And now we're going to flip it up. Now is when it starts to turn 3D or three dimensional. Okay. And I'm going to tape this corner right here. This part might be a little bit tricky. Just kind of try to hold it there as best you can. You could even tape it on one side and then pull your other paper up into the right spot and then fold it over. Okay, and then we'll do that same thing over here. All right, okay. Now it's starting to turn into a 3D shape. Pretty cool, right? Starting to look more like a theater. But a theater needs a backdrop. It's got a backdrop, but there's going to be curtains that go in front of it that make it look like a backdrop back there. So first, let's put in our rear curtain, which is going to be the one without all of the design. Now that you cut the words away, it might be hard to remember which one's which. But anyways, it's the one without the wood design on the outside. And we're going to slide it through the slots. And it's going to be the back slots on your curtain, not the ones closest to the front. It's going to be the ones closest to the backdrop. So we're going to put that in. All right, that looks about right. Okay, so there's one. And we'll grab the other one. The other one's just going to go in front of that and the other slots that we made. 
So you're just going to carefully line them up. Oops. Can't get that one. There we go. thing I'm going to do is I've got this little support piece that keeps this front from flopping. You can see how with mine it's kind of floppy. It's not it's not held in there perfectly. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to take another couple of pieces of tape. All right. And with this one, I'm just going to tape it and hook it onto the back. So I'm just going to hook that on. other one might need to fold this down a little bit more but we're just going to hook it on to the top of the backdrop so you can see that that's kind of how it holds on to that my piece of tape is kind of short so I'll get another piece and add it on this side all right it's looking pretty good right that's what we got so far. It's definitely looking three-dimensional, right? Pretty cool. All right, so the last thing to add or to explain is that you can change the way that your show looks. Um, hmm, let's see, maybe we'll show it with this camera. Um, so to explain for you guys what this alternate background is, um, so it might be kind of hard with this piece. Oh, maybe that's... Okay, we're going to do a quick little modification. I'm going to cut that tape. Now I'm seeing a potential problem with taping that on all the way. So if you want to add this other background in, you can change what your show or the part of your show is by... You're going to slide another backdrop in. And you can have a different scene of your show and then you just add a little piece of tape or maybe you could use something else to stick it in but now you can see that your show is gonna you, you know you can change the the part of your show or the show all together and then when you make your own backdrop you know you can add your own different scene if you liked a different scene of the story you know and it's not included in the pictures or the artwork that you see why don't you try making it yourself? I think that'd be a fun challenge. Uh, if a part really calls out to you and you start thinking and your imagination goes wild and you start saying, I, I want to know what her workshop looks like, you know, or whatever part you pick. Um, anyways, so we've got that part now. And last thing I wanted to do is explain how to add these fairy lights and why we would even want to do that. Um, I just kind of added them at the last second as a fun idea. These are electrical equipment. I definitely don't want you to do anything dangerous with that um, and make sure parents you're paying attention to your kids if you let your kids have them. Because um, kids can get quite curious and uh, try to figure out what they can do with them. But these are little LED lights. They're not supposed to get really hot. Um, but they could be fun to, like what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of push it into the top. So it's kind of all around the paper. And you'll need to pull the little tag out to activate it. And then you can, let me turn off the lights for this part real quick. We're gonna turn the lights off, at least a little bit. So you can see this better. Okay, so if you wanna add the light effect, this is kinda, you can see a little bit here what it's gonna do. Maybe that's pretty faint. Anyways. Hmm. Maybe I need to push them down a little bit farther. Anyways, you can play around with that and uh, try to see what you can get with that. Um, these are pretty faint, but like if you have your lights off, it could look really cool to have the lights, um, you know, adding that other additional 
element to your show of, you know, like special effects or something like that. Um, anyways, just a kind of a fun little effect. And then your characters, your characters, you'll cut them out, um, and then you can put your own show together. Um, obviously, there's, you know, there's only a certain amount of characters I've included. There's others in the book. You could try drawing how you imagine either the characters that are like Nellie Bug and her friends. You can try drawing her. Maybe you imagine her looking a little different. Um, yeah, that that's okay too. Because I know when you read a story, let me let me turn this light on real quick. Or at least when when I read a story, I imagine, my imagination just goes wild and I start to think about what this world looks like, what the characters look like. And sometimes when you see them like in a movie or something like that, you can be like, what is that? That does not look like them. That's fine. That's part of the creative process. And I think it's fun to let your imagination go wild. So the fairy tale theater is meant for a way for you or your child or your grandchild or whoever, whoever this is, something that you're sharing with, just to get their imagination going, to come up with their own ideas. Um, and I'd love to see them. So you can share them with me. Um, I'll put the link on the screen um, on where you can find me on Instagram and share any of your artwork or any of the ideas you come up with. I'd love to check them out. So please share them. Uh, tag me on Instagram um, or on Facebook too. I check Facebook. Um, yeah, but anyways, thank you for watching this short little video. Thank you for supporting me um, and checking out the second Nelly Bug book. I'm glad you now have it in hand and I hope you love it. Um, if you love it, r please write a review. I, I will look at them um, and I care what you think. Um, and I hope you love this book and uh, by sharing a review, it helps other people find it as well because um, it's now going to be available on, you know, platforms like... Uh, I just checked out my local bookstore. It's available there. It's available in libraries. Um, it's available um, on Amazon and on other online retailers. Um, it doesn't mean they're going to have it there in stock if you're at your local library or bookstore, but you can request it and they can have it available for you or for a friend or something like that. And as there's reviews left out there, that helps people find them. The algorithms, they love reviews. They eat them up. All right, last thing I want to say, just thank you for checking out this video. Thanks for following my author journey um, as I've created this Nelly Bug story. Um, now we're on to the second one. Um, and the third one's actually underway. I've started writing that. I'm writing chapter 10, and there's going to be 14 chapters. And that one's going to be a lot of fun, too. But the second book has been so much fun. I'm glad you have supported me and been there with me. Um, if you didn't get the book when we first did it, it should be available to you. So go find it uh, wherever you like to buy books. You can look for it. Um, audiobook should be shortly available. Um, and you can share it with somebody else you care about. Um, I've written Nellie Bug in a way that it's, it's a story that opens a dialogue. You know, you can talk to your loved ones about issues that are important to you. Um, and I hope it's a book that inspires that kind of a dialogue and that brings you closer together as a family or um, with your loved ones or, or whatever the case may be. But anyways, um, thanks for checking out this video and uh, yeah, share your comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, anyways, talk to you later.